Hi, it's Dave here from 360 Video Pro. I thought you might be interested in some post-production uh, before and after work. So this is a holiday cottage uh, filmed for a customer and it is a fantastic place to film 360. It's a brilliant house and fantastic lighting. So I wanted to show you that we had already cloned out the tripod. So you can see here that there's no tripod and more importantly, there's no shadows which is something that's uh, also important to try and fix. Now, what I wanted to show you today was some of the issues that we had after stitching. We used a, a GoPro Freedom Rig with six GoPros. One of the issues with that is there are six cameras to stitch. There are issues when you stitch far away and close up. So this is far away from the camera. You can see there's a bit of a stitch line here. But the, the real problem occurred close by. So we're having to stitch for middle ground and you can see here we've got a slice going through the fridge which is affecting the cupboard door, some of the verticals in here are shifted, there's another one just on the edge here. We've got some handles that are misaligned and another slice through here affecting this one. So what we did, uh, well the reason we chose actually this location for the camera was so that we could get a long shot between the back door and all the way through into the lounge so that the viewer, if they have it in a headset and they're looking around, they can get the full scope of the, the room because it's a lovely room. Let me show you what happened. So this is what it looks like now. You can see our, our handles, the side slash here and another uh, cut over here that we have to repair. So after some intensive work in Photoshop, you can see that we cleaned those up. It looks nice. Handles all look great. So if you have that in a headset uh, and you're looking around, you probably don't notice the stitching issues so much, but if you're pausing the video at any point and you want to look at detail, then you would pick that up. So hope that's of interest for you. Bye for now.